Hey guys, this is Peter with the Command Valley bringing you a special podcast episode. Thank you to GameGrid for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out their new and improved store and support the channel while doing it, check out the affiliate link in the description below. If you want to support the channel directly, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash commandvalley to sign up today. I wanted to post a quick video talking about a spoiler that came out today, Opposition Agent. Opposition Agent is a creature human rogue that costs two and a black and is a three two. It has flash and says you control your opponents while they're searching their libraries. While an opponent is searching their library, they exile each card they find. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast them. This 3 mana human is shaking up the CEDH forums as well as basically all forms of... EDH. In a nutshell, it shuts down tutors completely. You can cast this in response to someone casting a tutor because it has flash and get whatever card they're searching for instead of them. A lot of people are talking about pairing this with Marilyn of the Moonsong, which forces your opponents to search for cards and will net you all of their win cons. So I'm here to talk a little bit about Command Valley slots on the impact of this card and primarily in the competitive space, but also ranging into casual playgroups like ours. The first question that we have to ask ourselves is, is this going to be an auto-include in every single black deck? Very naturally, the more competitive a deck gets, the more it relies on tutors to find its win cons. That's that's just a general rule. Your deck does not need to have tutors to be fun to play at an EDH table, and your tutors don't make your deck quote-unquote good, but we do see a higher volume of tutors in competitive meta decks because they are the most efficient way to get your combo pieces to win, and even if you aren't running those expensive tutors, you're most likely running a ramp spell or two to get more lands onto the battlefield or a fetch land, and opposition agent shuts those down too. So the answer to that question is going to be yes. 99% of the time, this is going to be an auto-include in every single black deck. I say 99% of the time because the only way that it wouldn't be an auto-include in your meta is if your meta has banned any card with the words search your library on it. Ramp spells, fetch lands, and every kind of tutor are completely shut down with opposition agent in so much that whoever is playing the agent would get to reap the benefit of your hard work rather than you. Previously, the card that defined shutting down tutors, for comparison, is Aven Mind Sensor, which is white and naturally doesn't go into every single deck because white isn't as competitive of a color. But every competitive deck that plays white does play Aven Mind Sensor, and Opposition Agent is strictly better than that. So Opposition Agent is inevitable. So the next question is, what can you do to combat Opposition Agent? And to be honest, the answer isn't what I expected upon initially looking at the card. At first glance of this card, knowing that it is going to be across the table from you if your opponent is playing black, my first instinct would have been to include a higher volume of spot removal. Cards like a braid and Drown in the Lock are perfect for dealing with Opposition Agent, and those may very well be cards that we see more play in CEDH because of Opposition Agent. But after talking a bit with the rest of Command Valley, I think that the answer isn't a deck building change, but rather a playstyle change. The thing is this, you are already playing spot removal and answers for opposition agent. And that's basically a given. If you're not playing spot removal in your deck, then that would be the first place to start because you need a way to deal with your opponent's threats. I would treat Opposition Agent the same way that you would treat a Counterspell in your opponent's hands, or the same way that you would treat four open mana when someone is playing Demir Colors, because you know that they're going to play that Notion Thief, so you shouldn't play your Windfall or the thing that's going to let them take advantage of you. Similarly, if you see three open mana across the table and one of them is black, you can almost surely bet that Opposition Agent is in their hand and they're waiting for you to cast a tutor so that they can take the benefit of that. The best way to combat the agent is to just not play tutors when you know that your opponents can cast it in response to it. Yes, that will likely slow down the game just a little bit, and maybe eventually they're going to cast it anyways, but you know that that agent threat isn't going to be around for forever because that 
agent is most likely going to be removed with three other players at the table that want to tutor things. So once they've spent their resources on other things or the agent has been removed, you can continue to win however you wanted to win in the first place. This card will force everyone playing the game to think a little bit differently about what your opponents could be holding in their hands in the same way that everybody is cautious about a blue player holding up mana to counter your things. It's that simple. Now even if we don't see a huge shift in the cards people play to combat opposition agent there are some decks that are currently poised a little bit better to perform while tutors are locked out of the game the deck i'm specifically thinking about in the cedh meta right now is the turbo Nas strategy using ad nauseum and underworld breach and dockside extortionist lines to get massive amounts of card draw and advantage that has a much higher chance to find your win cons without the tutors that deck and other decks that use card advantage on top of the library manipulation will naturally perform a little bit better if the agent can't be dealt with. On top of that, Turbo Nas decks play a lot of bounce spells that will return Dockside Extortionist to hand for some combo enabling, so that could be the interaction needed to get rid of the agent and secure the win. Nevertheless, the change that will come to EDH is a gameplay one, and I would say that that's a healthy change for the format to have every once in a while to see a card come in that the community has to figure out how to work around and play around and it encourages more creative deck building and more interesting strategies and of course as always if you don't like it in your casual play group the beauty of edh is that you don't have to play it and you can expect that your opponents will play it either if you have a problem with it so what are your thoughts on Opposition Agent? Are you grabbing a copy? Let us know what you think in the comments. We would love to hear your thoughts. If you want to be part of more discussions like this, where we discuss the impact of new cards on the format of EDH, join our Patreon. We have a Discord server where we talk about all of these spoilers and we talk about the impact of a lot of these new cards that are coming into EDH and we talk about how to brew decks around these and how to improve our gameplay style to be the best EDH players that we can be. Additionally, supporting us on Patreon supports us directly and you get other exclusive content and merch and other perks. So go check it out, especially if you want to be part of those discussions. Thank you again to GameGrid for sponsoring this channel. Go to the link in the description to help the channel directly. It's an affiliate link, so the more that you buy from GameGrid through that link, the more it benefits us. And they ship nationwide, so don't worry about not being in Utah to get that benefit. They'll be able to ship it right to you. Check out our live streams on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That means there's one going on tonight. Join us for some Brawl on Arena. Follow us on social media. There are links to that down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.